Welcome. Today we shall be looking at acute appendicitis. An acute appendicitis is the inflammation of the vermiform appendix, which is a small finger-like projection from the cecum. The condition progresses rapidly and without timely treatment, it can lead to serious complications, for example, perforation of the appendix, peritonitis, sepsis, septic shock, and even death. The definitive treatment of acute appendicitis is a surgical removal of the appendix known as appendectomy. Let's explore the clinical features and assessment findings in acute appendicitis. Typically, the pain in acute appendicitis begins around the periumbilical area and later migrates the right lower quadrant. This pain then localizes at the Mark Barney's point, which is a specific spot, one third of the way between the anterior superior iliac spine and the umbilicus. There may be a rebound tenderness and abdominal rigidity in these patients. A positive rousing sign is elicited when pressure on the lower left quadrant results in the pain in the right lower quadrant. So a sign on the other hand indicates a right lower quadrant pain on extending the right hip while the obturator sign is the elicited by internal rotation of the flexed hip, also causing pain. There are other signs which suggest peritoneal irritation and an elevated white blood cell count is commonly observed in these patients. In terms of behavior signs and systemic symptoms, patients often adopt a sideline position with legs flexed to relieve the discomfort. They may have a difficulty in walking or complain of pain when moving the right hip. And systemic symptoms in acute appendicitis include a low-grade fever, anorexia, nausea, vomiting, and possibly constipation or diarrhea. Looking at the complications of appendicitis, peritonitis is one of the serious and life-threatening complications of appendicitis. It usually results from a perforated appendix, and a hallmark indicator of peritonitis is a sudden relief of pain, followed by a resurgence of more severe pain and abdominal guarding. Assessment findings in peritonitis include a high fever, chills, rebound tenderness or Bloomberg sign, abdominal distension, and severe pain. Other systemic indicators include tachycardia, tachypnea, pallor, restlessness, irritability, diminished bowel sounds, dizziness, and low blood pressure. The diagnosis of acute appendicitis involves both clinical and radiological assessment. A complete blood count typically shows leukocytosis. C-reactive protein levels may also be elevated. An ultrasound is usually the first-line imaging modality in children and in pregnant patients, and for adults, a CT scan remains a gold standard test with an MRI reserved for special situations such as pregnancy. Appendectomy being the most preferred surgical intervention in acute peritonitis requires a preoperative interventions and postoperative care for these patients. Before surgery, it is crucial to obtain informed consent and ensure that the patient remains nil per hours or NPO status. Administer intravenous fluids and electrolyte management. Monitor pain and bowel sounds regularly and administer analgesics and antibiotics. Apply ice packs for 20 to 30 minutes every hour to manage pain and inflammation. Position the patient on the right side or in the semi follows position for comfort and avoid giving laxatives or enemas, and do not apply heat to the abdomen as this increases the risk of rupture. The mainstay of treatment is appendectomy, preferably via a laparoscopic approach due to quicker recovery and fewer complications. In cases with complications, for example, abscess formation, an open surgery or drainage with delayed surgery may be needed. In selected cases of uncomplicated appendicitis, antibiotic therapy may be considered as an alternative treatment modality. Postoperatively, 
A close monitoring of vital signs and incision site is quite important. Maintain an ill per O status until the bowel function resumes and then advance that gradually. If a perforation occurred, you need to monitor and manage the drain site. Keep the patient in a semi follows or side lying position and care for the wound with the dressing changes and possible irrigation. Maintain a nasogastric tube if required. Administer antibiotics and analgesia together with an early ambulation to prevent complications such as atelectasis from developing. Some of the high yield notes for you to remember is that appendicitis is a surgical emergency and a sudden pain relief may signal an appendix rupture. Early surgery in appendicitis is associated with better outcomes and you need to avoid heat laxative to prevent rupture of the appendix.